Hey everyone, Julie here. Um, today I would like to talk about you. So stay with me, I'll be back in a few seconds. When you board an aircraft uh, to travel the world, one of the first things they're going to tell you is that in case of uh, air reduction, you have to put your mask on first and then you can help others. And this is what I want to discuss with you today. Um, so often the people I coach around me tell them that they don't have the time to do the exercise that I give to them. They don't have the time to commit for five minutes of uh, mirror exercise or five minutes of self-care. And what I want to tell to all of you guys today is that if you don't take care of yourself, if you don't put your oxygen mask on you in order to breathe, you don't have oxygen anymore to help other breathe as well. And um, this is so vital and important. If you don't take care of yourself, at some point you won't have any more energy power to help others. And um, this is one of the thing in self-development, there are so many self-development tool available um, here on the internet, everywhere, wherever you go, books, um, YouTube videos, um, whatever you may have, a coach in your life, some friends, anything that could be helping to um, could be helping you in order to feel better, to feel more energized, to feel more fulfilled and happy. If you don't take this time for yourself, you won't be able to help others. So often I have my um, clients who are telling me, um, Julie, I don't have the time, I need to take care of my family. Julie, I don't have the time, I have my work. Julie, I don't have the time, I'm so overloaded with X, Y, Z. And I do really understand. One of the things you can have a look at is reorganizing your time maybe, reorganizing your schedule, uh, trying to see if you can reduce some of the time that you spend on certain tasks or with certain people. Uh, I understand spending time with family is very, very important, but if you don't take care of yourself, at some point you won't be able to take care of your family anymore because you will just burn out. Um, out of too much work or too much uh, pressure, too much stress, too much whatever. And if you take the time, even five minutes a day, to take care of yourself, whether it's a, a breathing exercise for five minutes or just reading few pages of a book for a few minutes or um, standing in front of your mirror and speaking to yourself for five minutes, this is going to make a huge difference in your life on a daily basis. Uh, please never underestimate the compound effect of small action, the compound effect of small action, it multiplies, this action multiplies and then eventually after one month, two months, six months, one year, they have an uh, amazing effect on you, on your life, on your well-being. Same the other way around with negative things. If you, sm if you smoke one cigarette, it's fine. If you smoke one cigarette every day for 20 years, of course the results are going to be much different. So think about it in this way. Uh, taking five minutes for yourself a day, first of all, you will be proud and happy that you managed to find the time for this. So uh, it's going to be the first reason for you to be grateful, grateful for yourself, grateful for life, grateful for that very day because you had these five minutes for you. But also because um, the compound effect of it is going to be tremendous over time. And this is so important. Always remember that when you put your mask on first, then you can help others. Always remember that, yeah? There is, uh, there is no more air in the aircraft, there is something that, um, God forbid, happen, and then suddenly you need to put your mask on. But you first think about the person next to you, so you're about to take the, the mask and then you want to help the person, but you already yourself got out of air, of oxygen, so you can't breathe anymore, and then you cannot help the person next to you. So instead of saving two lives, you lose two lives, because you couldn't get the air on you, the oxygen, the oxygen mask, and then you couldn't get the oxygen mask on the other person sitting next to you either. So we have two person dead instead of two person alive breathing. So always remember that. I know it's a little bit extreme as, as an image, but it's really to make you understand that if you don't create space for yourself, if you don't create time for yourself, 
uh, it might be okay for today, tomorrow, the day after, maybe this month, couple of months to come but the compound effect of it is gonna be disastrous for you and, and you don't want that. So, um, so my message for you today is find five minutes, time it. Take your phone, put everything in, I don't know, plain mode if you want so you won't get disturbed for these five minutes. You just put five minutes on your phone and then you time it. You put an alarm after five minutes when you know the five minutes are done, it's done. It can be as simple as just laying down on your back and breathing being aware of your breathing. In yoga, we call this, this pose Shavasana. Shavasana is when you just lay on your back, lay down on your back, uh, on the floor or on a mat or um, on, on your bed, on your sofa, wherever. You just lay down on the ground and then your legs are, are uh, open and then your, your arms as well, wherever you want. They can be next to your body. They can be a little bit more open. It's really like um, a, a very relaxing pose where you just become aware of your breathing. And um, this usually comes at the end of a yoga class and we usually do that for five minutes. And it can be as simple as that. You don't need to do anything special, particular. Just take these five minutes to be fully in the present moment, whatever it is that you're doing. Reading a book, drawing something. Um, but please remove the screen, remove distractions and really allow these five minutes only for you. If you cannot take five minutes for you during a day, during a 24 hour time frame, if you have any other goals in life, few are the chances that you're gonna make any other of your goals come true. Because five minutes for yourself is truly nothing. And this is something that can really change your day, your month, your life. So, um, and this should become one of your top one priority habits, something that you time, something with no distraction, something that makes you happy, calm, fulfilled, distressed, whatever it is that you aim at for during these five minutes. But this is extremely important that you create the time and space for that. Because if you manage five minutes today, maybe after one or two months you will manage 10 and maybe you manage one day 30 minutes, maybe one day you manage an hour. And then you realize that during this hour of pure relaxation or pure disconnection from the outer world, this is the time where you re-energize yourself, where you find your creativity, where you find yourself again. And this is what's going to fuel you with enough energy to move throughout your day with your work, your responsibility, your family, your friends, and the different commitments that you have throughout the day. So taking this time for you is actually, it's like when you fuel the car and then because you have to, to ride yeah, for the whole day, you're, you're gonna have to ride for the whole day. So as much as you take a breakfast to fuel your body, you also need to fuel your soul. You need to fuel your heart in order to be able to continue giving. I understand you love giving and you constantly give. You give to your work, you give to your friends, you give to your parents, to your children, to your partner, you give to everyone but then you forget to give yourself. And this is where burns out come from, this is where depression comes from, this is where all of this anxiety and fear come from, is because you don't take the time to really reconnect with yourself, be aligned with your own um, spirit, mind, soul, heart, and then it starts to show, because you are tired, you're, you're emotionally, your soul is tired. And then it shows at work, and then it shows with your partner, with your family, you get, uh, you get angry faster, you get uh, a little bit aggressive, all of this kind of thing, just because you don't have this moment during the day to recharge. Um, if, you, if you are during the day running for a charger because the battery of your phone is gonna die, and it's so important for you that your phone remains on and connected, Think about it for you as well. And remember that you're not even a machine. You, you're a much more complex machine than, than, than a smart, smartphone device. So uh, if you think about it, all of the things around you at some point needs recharge. They need battery to be able to, to function, to be able to work, to be able to perform, right? If, if, if you take your smartphone and you only uh, charge it halfway, it's not gonna last as long as if you charge it fully. It's the same for you. 
it's exactly the same for you. Your body somehow is a very complex machine and it's not only your body, it's also your soul, your mind, your heart. So it's a much more complex um, uh, ecosystem than, 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 a, than, than a smartphone or a tablet or a computer. So all of these things need to be nurtured. So my invitation for you today, put your phone on plain mode, time five minutes and just do something. Focus on your breathing, uh, sing a song, um, do, do whatever you want just for five minutes. You can just sit and close your eyes and focus on your breathing. You can draw something and put some colors. You can um, just look at yourself in the mirror and, and speak to yourself or just look at yourself. Don't do anything. Just take five minutes to be fully aware, fully conscious, fully mindful of this present moment. Later on, you will thank yourself. Make it a habit that you charge your battery every day before starting off the day. And you will see that um, it's really going to change the way your day unfolds, hours by hours. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was inspiring. I hope you start implementing this today don't delay it. Don't delay uh, what you can do today to tomorrow. Today is the day. Today is the day to make the changes. Today is the day to start. So um, do this now. Switch off this video and then time five minutes for yourself only with no distraction, no one else than you and yourself to appreciate this moment, to breathe. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a beautiful day. See you soon.